Hello, everyone. This is Amity Sensei. Today, I will talk about a new animation app. It won the 2012 Apple Design Award as well. And the app I will talk about is called Loom. And with this app, anyone can make simple animations that pop. It also has a really cute user interface that I think many girls will love. And what's really great about this app is that you can make animations just by drawing with your Apple Pencil. It's a super interesting feature, so I'll be showing off by demonstrating how to make this light bulb animation. The app costs around $12, I think it's a little pricey, but it's still worth it. I'll put the link to it in the description, so go take a look. Alright, let's open up the app. First, we are going to make a canvas using the plus button at the top left. Once you open it, some buttons will appear on the left. There is a big circle at the bottom left and one in the left middle. If you press and hold that last one, even more options will show up. I want to change the color of the background first, so if you hold the big circle at the bottom left and play with this color wheel here, you can change the color. This is an app for making hand-drawn animations, so we have to start with the brushes. To change the brush color, hold down the middle left button and change it with the color wheel on the right like before. If you want to change the brush thickness or opacity, you can use these sliders at the top right and the bottom right. When you want to change these things, you always use the middle left button. Press and hold it, and then use the options on the right. If you don't hold it, you can't change any settings, so keep this in mind. And when you hold this left middle button, the frame rate option will show up, this one right here. Choose a higher number and the animation gets really intricate. If it's high, it goes by really nicely, but if it's low, it looks slower and more choppy. It gets a little more sluggish this way. You can also change the number of frames here, so play around with these settings while making your animation. We are going with 12 frames per second, with 16 frames in total. Also on the top, we have the play button and eraser too, so please use them when you need them. Let's start with the basics. Try drawing a circle, and now you can do this anywhere on the screen. Slide your finger down like the hands of a clock. It's really just like the minute hand moving downwards. This advances the animation to the next frame, so we are going to keep drawing one circle at a time, each one to the side of the last, like this. Alright, we'll stop here for now. Here we have the play button at the top, so let's press it. And here we go. Just like with a flipbook, each frame goes by one by one, and it really looks like it's moving. These are the basics for making a flipbook type animation. So consider this app as a digital tool for this sort of thing. Now with these tools, we are going to draw the light bulb, the one I showed you at the beginning of the video. It's going to come out of the bottom right here, and gradually light up with all the different parts flashing. So let's make that now. First, let's show the base of the light bulb. We are going piece by piece like this. Once you finish with one frame, do that motion with your finger and move on to the next one like this. I'm gonna draw a little bit. And now we've finished the dark outline of the light bulb, so let's try playing it back. There we are. You can see it sprouts out gradually from the bottom, and now we're going to add the light flashing to finish it. We're going to add some color a bit later, but the color settings in this app can be a little bit tricky, so please watch closely. If you hold down the bottom of the bottom left, a plus button will appear at the top. Let's press this. Now a new circle button will show up. This is sort of our layer button. In Loom, this is actually called a thread. So we're going to make a new thread on top like this. 
You can also change the order of the threads like this. Just hold the bottom left button and drag them. This is where we add our colors from. In this app with each thread, you can only use one color. If you try to draw on top of the black and yellow, it all becomes yellow. So if you want to change colors in the same work, you have to make a new thread and apply the color in there. So please keep that in mind. We made a new thread for the yellow here, so we hold the thread on the left and choose yellow on the right. And if you want to fill an area with color, there is a small button below the wheel here. Press it and it changes from draw to fill. The parts you draw inside automatically become the color and you can fill the entire part with one color. We are going to fill the inside with this. We are done with the yellow, so let's try playing it back. You see, it sprouts up from the bottom like before, and shines really brightly in yellow. Here I'm going to talk about one of the coolest features in this app. You can draw however you like with your Apple Pencil, and it will animate your drawings automatically. First, let's add another thread on top here, then we press the play button, and this will play the animation we just made, but now we are going to draw with the Apple Pencil. And you see, the lines we draw got animated. Isn't this pretty cool? Each line becomes its own frame and looks like it's moving. Draw quickly with the pencil and the lines move super fast. If you draw slowly, the lines move slowly. Using this function, we are going to make it look like little rays of light are coming out of it and spreading outwards. This is a bit difficult because you have to time it. You have to make it so that the light is coming out when the bulb comes on, so you can have it play to check the timing while we draw, and that way you can connect it too. Finally, we are going to end with some text. For the text, we will go with 3 frames per second. I think a more patchy animation will look really good. Alright, now we are done. Let's play it one more time. How does it look? Anyone can make a super cute animations just like this, and it's so cool that you can animate what you draw with your Apple Pencil. You can animate whatever you dream up with this app, and I personally love this feature so much, so I think it's worth paying for it. So if you got some money to spare, definitely pick this one up. And now when you want to save this file, there is a button on the bottom left, and if you hold it down while pressing the record button, you can save it as an mp4, kind of like a screen recording. And there you go, it's all saved. Unfortunately, you can't save it as a GIF, which isn't really great, but you can still save it as an mp4 and upload it somewhere. You could use it for the beginning of your YouTube video for instance. And you can really use this app for many things. And that's the end of this video. There's so many animation apps for iPad these days and I'll talk about some others too. And I'll put all the links to them in the description. And some apps are free, like Flip a Clip. So if you're interested, please take a look. And if you like this video, please hit the like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I make videos on tips and hacks of iPad. So please do that too. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.